Sports brought to you by Coons Quality Foods all day long. And here we go right now with a look at sports view on this Sunday morning. Rock Press Sunday within the hour of KDK Radio. Pitt wins 17-14 at Hines Field against Delaware. Nick Patty threw for 271 yards, two touchdowns. Todd Sibling Jr. rushed for 106 yards. Panthers improved to 3-2. and two. Travel to Duke this Saturday, October the 5th for an 8 p.m. kickoff. Justin Field threw 212 yards, three touchdowns. Ohio State over Nebraska, 48-7. Notre Dame got 131 rushing yards and three touchdowns from Tony Jones Jr. Fighting Irish over Virginia, 35-20. New Hampshire over Duquesne, 23-6. Youngstown State over Robert Morris, 45-10. Geneva over Waynesburg. Homecoming for Geneva yesterday in Beaver Falls at Reef Stadium, the final 27-7. Casey Middlestack got the game winner in a shootout. Buffalo beats the Pens, 3-2. Sidney Crosby appeared to take a shot off the foot. He did not return yesterday, and in the third period, Brian Russ took a shot off the hand. He, too, in obvious pain and skated off and didn't return. Season begins for the Pens this Wednesday, October 3rd. PPG Paints Arena face off at 7 against those same Buffalo Sabres. Pirates went to extra innings against the Reds. They lost 4-2-12 and at PNC Park last night. They wrap up the season today against the Reds. Trevor Williams gets to start 3.05 airtime for the first pitch, 93-7 the fan, and Justin Verlander recorded his 3,000th career strikeout as the Astros defeated the Angels last night, 6-3. Earl Spence added the WBC waterway title to his IBF belt with a thrilling split decision victory over Sean Porter last night at the Staples Center, and Cameron Champ shot a third round, 67. He's at 14 under, good for a three-shot lead, heading into the final round of the Safeway Open in Napa, California. Rob Pratt, KDKA Radio Sports.